Hey hikers, my name is Kat and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to get to the Deep Creek Hot Springs in the San Bernardino Mountains. And I'll be breaking this video down into three parts. The drive to the trailhead, the hiking directions to the hot springs, and tips and frequently asked questions. The trailhead is about 2 hours and 100 miles from Los Angeles. And the easiest way to get to the hot springs is through the Bowen Ranch, which is where we're headed to. And since Bowen Ranch is private land, the owners charge a $10 fee per person. You're going to be on Bowen Ranch Road for 6.2 miles from Alcatello Way, and it is a dirt road, so a high clearance vehicle is recommended. You'll then make a left onto Hot Springs Trail entering the Bowen Ranch. Jessica was our parking attendant for today. We paid her the $10 fee per person. She was friendly and even recommended we take a picture of their map to find the hot springs. She mentioned that there are at least three rescues each week due to heat exhaustion, and we could purchase drinks there if we didn't bring enough water. She took my last name and license plate on a slip, and we continued on our way. About a third of a mile from the parking attendant, the road's going to open up to the camping and parking area. Keep straight for a few more yards, then make a right to park. And now that we've made it to the trailhead, let's go over the hike. The hike is 3.6 miles there and back. You're going to descend over 900 feet to the hot springs, then hike that back up, and it takes about 2 hours to complete. And a piece of advice is to pay attention to your surroundings every time you make a turn, because it is easy to get lost on the way back. More specifically, pay attention to your surroundings when you're hiking from the trailhead to the goat trail start. Once you get on the goat trail, the hike's pretty easy to follow. Just continue straight and don't take any side trails. From the trailhead, you'll walk towards the flagpole and go through the fence where the truck kiosk will be. The hike is all downhill and no shade to the hot springs, so plan accordingly. Once you make it to the bottom of the hill, make a right, and this would be a good time to look behind you and note the trail you came down from, maybe even take a picture. A few minutes after making a right at the bottom of the hill, you'll come to a wider trail. Make a left at this wide trail and there were trail markers along the way. A few yards after making a left onto this white trail, you'll come to the start of the goat trail on your right. And there's this trail kiosk past it, so just so you know that the entrance to the go trail is before the trail kiosk. And this is about 15 minutes or half a mile from the trailhead. The goat trail is going to take you through the canyon. Just continue straight and don't take any side trails. The view
views can open up and if you look down, you'll see the river beneath you. About 40 minutes or 1.6 miles into your hike, the goat trail is going to take you on the right side of the mountain, to where if you look down now, the river will be on your right. Once you make it to the bottom of the trail, you'll have to cross the river to get to the hot springs, and it is clothing optional, so something to keep in mind if you plan on bringing kids. And now for tips and frequently asked questions. Do not drink the water or submerge your head. The hot springs pools contain a rare and sometimes fatal amoeba. And I will link the article from the USDA in the description section of this video. Make sure you check the weather forecast before you go and bring plenty of water. Our parking attendant did mention that there are at least three rescues each week. There are other ways of getting to the hot springs and for free. One of them being the Bradford Ridge Path, but it is a bit of a longer hike. Make sure you bring the appropriate hiking equipment and make sure you pack out everything you pack in. And if you're up for another hot springs hike, check out Montecito Hot Springs in Santa Barbara and I will link it in the description. And check out my channel for other hikes in Los Angeles. And let me know in the comment section if you've been to either one of these hot springs. And if there's anything I missed, be sure to write it in the comment section for others to see. And that is all I have for you today, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. But more importantly, if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at HikerOnATrail.